perfect night to dine outdoors, but those new street-side patios could cost restaurants, and ultimately you, more money. You see, Boston wants to charge restaurants in the North End a $7,500 fee for outdoor dining areas and extra fees for taking up any parking spaces. Tonight, WBZ's Beth Germano shows us the frustration in the North End and new here at 6, the problems that restaurants throughout Boston are facing. It's the kind of lunch hour rush on a warm March day that Paliuka's restaurant has been hoping for. And now looking forward to outdoor dining that has been a lifeline during the pandemic is coming with a big price. Disgust. I'll be honest with you, it's disgust. Because North End restaurant owners like Joseph Paliuka will have to pay $7,500 for a permit to put seats outside. Money the city says will go towards street and sidewalk cleaning and covering some lost parking spaces. But Paliuka says the neighborhood is unfairly singled out. My customer like the outside. You know what I mean? I'm stuck. I really don't want to pay. I don't want to pay. But I'm stuck. I'm not going to do it. We know why just the North End. They're all here. Everybody wants to come here. Like Paliuka, restaurant owner Claudia Spaniolo says she has no choice but to buy in and hopes it's worth it. Not everybody can afford it. You've got to pray to God about the weather. You've got to make sure people are going to come every day out in. Who likes it in? Who likes it out? From here, we had four tables going down here this way. Monumental Market in Jamaica Plain is also counting on a return to outdoor dining. But owner Kelsey Munger has just learned the brightly painted plywood barriers she installed last year with the help of local artists and planters are no longer acceptable. She'll now have to buy or rent Jersey barriers that are a new cost. I believe is like to like 300 to 500 dollars. We need I think six total plus we have to make sure that we have um, appropriate insurance. She says what was a simplified application process with the city is now burdensome and she'll actually lose seating. Having to then cut it in half, kind of look for these materials, things that we can't find, it doesn't make it very encouraging to try and do it again. These owners say the city is now putting up barriers to a successful program and many are asking why now. In Boston, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, we